Welcome to Squad Leader, the game of infantry combat in World War II, the classic from 1977. Today I'm just going to do a little introduction on the basics of the game. We're going to start with the men. No machines, just the men. What we have here are a number of counters. There are some with three digits on it and some with two. Notice the ones with two have one person on it. We call these a single man counter. And the other ones have two guys on it, a multi-man counter. Let's focus on these guys here. Remembering that the game is called Squad Leader, it's important to note that the game is based on the squad. A group of soldiers, anywhere from 8 to 15 men, depending on the country, time of the war, etc. And that's what these guys represent. The blue, with the black text here, represents Germans. And that brown color with the uh, black text and shapes represents the Soviets. Looking at the multi-man counters only to start with. What we have here is a number of three digits with dashes between them. The first one represents their normal firepower. The second one represents their normal range. And the last number represents their morale. Now these squads are all different based on the weapons they carry, their roles, etc. That's not important right now, but what's important is to note is, for example, the top guy, normal range of four hexes, a normal firepower of four, normal range of six hexes, and a morale of seven. That's pretty average. The Soviets are slightly less, their range is slightly less here. Talking about the other ones, the German up here, the submachine gun armed soldiers have a, range, a firepower of eight, range of three, and a morale of eight. The Soviets, firepower of six, range of two, and again, morale of eight. Let's have a look at what this means in practice. Okay. Ignore the terrain for right now and just look at the number of hexes. Over here we have a Soviet uh, squad. And down the road we have a German squad. Assume both are uh, not moving, they're going to shoot at each other. Remember his normal range is 4, his firepower is 4. We look at the hexes not counting himself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically, he's beyond normal range. <coughs> Any force can fire up to double its range, uh, but then it basically goes like this. At one hex in any direction, firepower is doubled. So, if it's doubled, in this case, both squads would shoot at each other at a rate, a rate of eight firepower factors. But in our example, they're five hexes away, so it's beyond the normal range of the Soviets, but it is within the normal range of the Germans. So that would mean the Germans would fire at a rate of four factors and the Soviets would fire at a rate of two factors. And you can fire up to double your normal, your printed uh, range. So the Soviets can actually fire a rate of fire of eight out here, up to four hexes, a rate of four, and up to eight hexes, a rate of two. Germans Point blank fire is eight, up to six hexes is four, and from seven to 12 hexes is two. 12 hexes versus the double rate of, the double range, excuse me, of eight. We see the Germans can outrange their Soviet counterparts. Let's go to the specialists. Basically the same thing. Again, we can see here that the Germans have the Soviets within normal range, so they would shoot at a rate of eight, and they would shoot back at a rate of three. That makes sense? All right, next we'll talk about the leaders. Okay, now we have the leaders. And from left to right, we have a number of leaders that go from better to less than better. Looking at their numbers, they have two numbers. And it's important to note that that is not a dash, but it's a negative sign. For example, the top guy here in blue, the German, is 10 minus 3. 9 minus 1, 8 minus 0. And sometimes they have numbers on, or uh, sorry, names on them. That's just for adding more flavor to the game itself. See Colonel Berkey, Sergeant Hamlin, Commissar, Kohenev, and so on. Okay, what does the negative mean? That is their leadership modifier. Basically, anytime you roll a dice, and if they're allowed to apply their leadership modifier, that is the number you take away from the roll. So, the guys with minus zero, they don't add anything. They don't take away anything either, for that matter. These two guys in the middle, 
They take away one from the dice roll, and these guys take two or three, depending on who it is. This guy here is very, very powerful. For example, let's roll the dice and see what we get. Oh my, a roll of five. That's a good roll. Eight minus zero, the five, stays as a five. Nine minus one, the five, becomes a four. And finally, the 10 minus three, the five, becomes a two. Very, very powerful. And without getting into the details, you can see here, for example, in the infantry fire table, the less the number is, the more powerful the attack is. For example, the five that became a two, out here, instead of this number one, it goes down to a killed in action. Okay, that's all I have for today in terms of the leadership. Uh, we'll talk a little bit next time. We'll talk about some of the machines. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.